Welcome to this in-depth tutorial. This video features basic planning for best quality of your doors game. Text that is read is very important. Make sure that your audio is up and you are looking at the visuals. First you need a name for your doors game. Example like Roblox stores or the other way around. It's really crucial to find that right name to get the certain popularity you want. Pick the POV you want. Or aka point of view. Each POV has pros and cons. There is semi 3D bird eyes in 1 to 2 directions. We will only do 2D for now. We are almost done with the planning part. This video will use semi 3D POV. Last step, spam hashtag trending hashtag all. In your credits which may increase popularity. Time to get to coding. First name your scratch project I will do Roblox stores Tenny. Make your player sprite and decorate it how you like. I finished. It is time to make this player move. For best experience, we need to make a custom block. This block will see if it's touching the wall sprite that you will make later. You can see that you need to add two inputs to find collision. X and Y for positions. Make a wall sprite, don't make it too fancy yet. Make sure that the player when it spawns near the left side of the screen. That way the player won't glitch. Create a speed variable. This lets you control how fast you want the player to go. I will put 3.5 for now. This code will detect what keys you press so that the character knows. What a move which we will code in 40 seconds. Remember what I said about X and Y? The speed will determine how fast you go. The X and Y will determine which direction to go to. Since up arrow goes up we need the Y axis. Post it goes upwards so we put the speed variable Y. Downwards is on the Y axis so we want the speed to be negative to go downward. I think you can figure the left and right so let's move on. This code will enable the player to move. The speed that you had on the code earlier will control this scrapped. Drag the X and Y and the player will move by that. Oh no! We can move through the walls. There is a reason why we made a custom block. Make a detection script and a new variable. Previous X and previous Y, when you aren't touching a wall. And you do later it will make the player go there.
this script will make it if you touch a wall? Well, it will teleport to the previous coordinates. You're done with moving. Time to move on to Chapter 3 Darkness. We will use the infinite size hack. Watch closely. Make the darkness square small. Set the size super big. Then enlarge the square in the costume editor. Most people do this wrong, so good job if you did it. Use the eraser option in the center of the sprite, and the circle that transitions into transparency. This script will allow the darkness to follow the player. It needs to point towards the player for later things we will add. You made it to the last chapter for this video. There will be more videos after this. I polished the sprites. I made the character look cleaner and the walls better. You can even make the backgrounds be randomized.